Today, I'm gonna tell you guys why I sold my carbon copy. What's up everybody, Jake here, and today I'm gonna tell you guys why I sold my carbon copy for the Love Pedal Echo Phonic. Real quick, if you have not visited my channel before, thanks for stopping by and do remember to hit that subscribe button to stay notified on future videos. So, I recently picked up the Love Pedal Echo Phonic, and to be honest, I've never been a huge fan of Love Pedals. I get kind of annoyed how sometimes they don't label their knobs, and it just the whole thing didn't appeal to me. But when I came across this pedal, the first thing I said was, that thing looks sick. I mean, check this out. It's got like the Echoplex logo right on it. So I plugged in and sure enough, I walked out the door with it. Well, why was I so quick to assume this was better than my carbon copy? Well, you'll notice this pedal has four controls. It has a tone, a time, a feedback, and a mix. Now the time, mix, and feedback do your normal delay things. The time obviously is how quick the effect is, mixes the overall volume of the effect, and feedback is how long the effect lasts. Well. On this one, there's a tone knob, and that tone knob affects how warm the effect is. So if it's to the left, it sounds a lot darker. If it's to the right, it sounds a lot brighter. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, if you wanted a brighter delay, why didn't you just get the carbon copy bright? Well, I actually wanted a little bit darker sounding delay that sounded a little bit more vintage, and this pedal absolutely does just that. So we're gonna check this pedal out right now. Now, as usual, I'm going into my Zinky Mofo, but I'm running this pedal into the effects loop, and I'm using my 1989 Fender HM Strat stock with the DiMarzio Super 3 pickup. Let's check it out.
All right, guys, so there it is, the Love Pedal Echo Phonic. So I just happen to like this a little bit better than a carbon copy. Now, I don't want you guys to think I don't like the carbon copy. It's still a phenomenal pedal. This just suited my needs a little bit better. Now, they've made a lot of different versions of this pedal. I believe this is the most current one, and I definitely recommend you check it out if you're a fan of a vintage sounding delay. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video, and any comments, throw them down below. See you guys later.